When we allow comparison to enter our lives, we are subconsciously admitting that what we have isn't enough. Most pilots don't understand what career opportunities are available in the world of aviation. They're making career decisions based on advice from friends or posts on internet forums. Meaning they are taking huge risks with their livelihood without having all the details. This podcast was created to help you understand the aviation industry so you can find your dream job. Let's get ready for pushback. Here's your host and my dad, Nick Fialka. All right, all right. It's ready for pushback. It's solo episode with me, Nick Fialka, and you, the awesome pilot who's listening. Comparison is the thief of joy. They say Teddy Roosevelt said that, maybe, but probably not when I actually looked it up. There's some arguments out there. Even though, even if Michael Scott said it, it resonates with me because I'm guilty of it. And I'll tell you why. When I was at my regional airline, I felt like I was stuck. It was the end of 2019 when I got back from my first deployment in Africa and I saw all these people get it from my class. They're getting hired. They're moving on. They're going to other airlines. And I wasn't, I was stuck. All my peers were at the majors. All my classmates from college were upgrading on wide bodies. Like I felt like their lives and careers were so much better than mine. When we allow comparison to enter our lives, we are subconsciously admitting that what we have isn't enough we begin to believe that if we gained what others have, it would make us happier and more content. And it took me months before I realized what was happening. Much of what I was consuming and trying to turn into my own life wasn't healthy. I was idealizing somebody else's life because it looked prettier than mine. When we start comparing ourselves with someone else, we may begin adjusting the expectations of our own life. And when we compare our lives to someone else's, it causes us to idealize that life. What would it be like to have their life, not your life? The key is to be content where you are on your own journey. And I should have realized that. And it took a long time before I did. You only have one opportunity to be in the phase of the life in which you're in. Only one time. And then it's gone. Maybe your phase is that you're a flight instructor. You're never going to have the opportunity again to hand fly an entire flight unless you buy your own plane. You're never going to have the opportunity to cloud surf every day. You're never going to have the opportunity to give feedback that someone really appreciates and internalizes. You're never going to have the satisfaction of watching someone pass a check ride because you poured out every single ounce of your being to see them succeed. Maybe you're a regional pilot. You're never going to have the chance to explore all those small towns you're overnighting in ever again. You're never going to have the chance to enjoy all that quick seniority. Maybe you're a transitioning military person. You are never going to have that camaraderie and closeness that you share with the men and women that you suffer with on a daily basis ever again. You're never going to see the work ethic that people put into their jobs on a daily basis. You're never going to hear that bugle echo through the trees at the end of a long day. It sounds silly, but it's true, and you're going to miss it. It's easy to sit back and be cynical, and it's easy to just wish it all away, but don't. I want you to hold on to what you have right now at this moment and think about this moment and enjoy this moment. Embrace it. Love it. Try to understand how it is making you the man or the woman that your parents hoped that you would become. Focus on what you have. Focus on what you love. Focus on what makes you special. Focus on what makes you a better person. This is about you. It's not about me. 
It's not about Bill Sims or Tron Williams or American Airlines or the 777 captain commuting home on the same plane. It's not about the girl who has 400 seniorities above you. It's about you. And it's about who you are. It's about the joy and satisfaction and contentment that you have with what you have been given. So have that. Hold that. Grow where you're planted. That's it. Go do it. And I think that's probably all I've got to say. So we'll see you next week on an awesome new episode with an interview that I hope you're really going to like. Hey, before you jump out of here and go on to the next podcast, can I ask a big favor? Would you mind going over to your app that you're listening to this podcast on and give me a review? Give me a five-star review if you love it. Give me a one-star review if it totally sucks. Put a comment in there, something that is helpful. It helps me. It helps get the word out there. It helps people find the podcast, and that's super cool. If you don't do that, maybe you could just share the podcast with a friend. Tell a buddy who's trying to figure it out, trying to sort out this pilot dream of theirs and get a little bit further. That is super awesome as well. Last If you don't do either of those two things, how about this? Find a way today to make yourself 1% better. Do that thing that you've been putting off. Put your foot forward, make movement, get yourself going, get that inertia that you need to succeed in this industry. So that's your choice. Leave a review, tell a friend, or make yourself better. Either way, it's all a good choice. And I'm super stoked you're listening, and I will see you on the next episode. The statements made on this show are my own opinions and do not reflect, nor are they under any direction from my employer.